everybody. Welcome to my video. I'm so happy to have you here. I want to thank you for joining me. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up and support. Helps the channel to grow, means a lot to me. I'm going to share with you guys today some Pokemon cards that I had just picked up. Um, I want you guys to, uh, you know, just take it all in. It's just a fun little sharing video. If you've picked up any cool Pokemon cards, you know, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, let's flip this camera out and get the show on the road. All right, so let's do this. And so what I want you guys to do is to let me know in the comments if you think, I mean, I personally think this was worth $400, but I want to know what you guys think if you think this was worth $400. So the first thing that I bought, not really the first thing because it's all together, but was were these really, really damaged Wizards of the Coast Hollows. And to me, condition... You know, it's a huge factor, of course, for what you're going to pay, but I like damaged Wizards of the Coast cards. You know, you know, somebody really enjoyed that card. They loved it. They played it. And it's got like, it's got some personality and some character. So I don't, I don't scoff at damaged hollow cards. Like I said, I'm not going to pay a lot for them, but I still like to own them. Uh, that Wizards of the Coast hollow pattern. So good. The OG foil. So we have a damaged um, ancient Mew. I'm sure you guys can see the the bends there. But still a fun card to throw in there. This is a first edition Kangaskhan, but yeah, it's really destroyed. This one is scratched. This is like a PSA one. <laughs> I'm certainly not sending that in to get graded unless I want a collection of PSA ones. Zapdos. The foil pattern was never very prominent on the Zapdos like ever. Even in the Evolutions printing, I never felt it was very prominent. Uh, we have a Machamp. Again, a PSA one. This Smeargle's got a giant uh, bend in it, but uh, still a fun card, Unseen Forces. Electrode Hollow. And again, pretty uh, destroyed. You can even see the bottom there. That's okay though, still fun. We've got Articuno, which I also bought a nicer Articuno in this lot. Another Flareon that's less bent, but equally a scratch. I'm sure you guys can see how scratched it is. Still that amazing foil. That Vaporeon is a PSA like 0.5. <laughs> you know, you probably have to have a rip on the card for it to be a 0.5. <laughs> Mr. Mime. Love a good Mr. Mime. Chansey. Very very beat chancy but uh still love it hit moon chan we have another machamp i believe this machamp was pretty much almost only first edition if not only first edition so we got a first edition jolteon unfortunately uh trashed as well we have an alakazam this was not too, too, too terrible, but definitely not great. Chansey. That one's maybe a PSA 2. <laughs> oh, poor Vaporeon. So yeah, the card's like, it's interesting though how you can see the foil underneath there. We have Hitmonchan again. Hitmonlee. I think Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee are like some of the easier cards to pull out of base and fossil. We have the Kangaskhan. By the way, non-hollow Kangaskhan looks really weird. It's all like pixelated in the background. Like it works with the foil over it, but when you see a non-hollow one and you're like, that looks kind of funny. We have this Haunter here. Yeah, the foil's not very prominent on this one like it is with Zapdos, but it's a little better than Zapdos. We have this Fortress. We got Neo here. And that was a not too terrible. We got a Mewtwo. I have a, I actually have a decent amount of beat up Mewtwo's. I don't know why. <laughs> Scyther. Moltres. Nice and scratch, but gorgeous card. We still got appreciated. Aerodactyl. We got Muck, one of the more common fossil hollows, but a great card nonetheless. Another. Gyarados. 
Oh, just wrap me up and bathe me in that foil pattern because it is the best. Nine tails, again, not the most prominent of the foil patterns, but gorgeous card. Yeah, definitely shows up better on lighter backgrounds. Another hit on Chan there. Scratch to Oblivion. We got a Lapras. Beautiful card. I love Lapras, one of my favorite Pokemon. Then we have a Vaporeon again. Ending with that Vaporeon for the damaged hollow cards. Mostly Wizards of the Coast there. So next, the cards and sleeves for some of the more big money cards here. So we have this squirrel e-reader squirrel reverse hell it's a very clean one you don't see too many of those in a clean condition so that's why i grabbed that up now this um gengar sabrina's gengar but it has the graveyard in the background i don't know if it's showing too prominent but this is they changed the background for the english version i'm sure a lot of you might know that but if you're new to pokemon cards you might not so this background is different from the english one making this one have probably more value than the english one this one's pretty clean probably like a psa 7 or 8 it's not bad at all um so you know this one i did pay uh, i want to say like 80 dollars technically and this one um, well i mean the value is all over the place so let's just think about it as 400 altogether because you know some of these i overpaid some of these i probably underpaid but mostly i feel like i got a good deal but the celebi which is interesting because the foil pattern doesn't extend to like that corner so i wonder if that's an error but i kind of don't think it is i kind of feel like it's supposed to be that way but i looked on ebay it looked like some had the foil over there and some didn't but it could have just been the picture Anyways, really like this card. This is a really cool Neo card right there. We have a non-pre-release Misty Cedra with a nice swirl on it, which is why I grabbed that up. Not the craziest card, but that swirl is so cool. In pretty good condition again. So this one, Rocket something. I can't say I remember, but I did buy this one for that prominent swirl. I do pay more for squirrels, probably about like 15% more overall. And then Secret, so I was in the market to get this card. I was looking to spend about, I want to say 30 for a clean one. And uh, this one is not bad at all. Again, probably a seven. If I were to get it graded, 7.5, maybe an eight. That could be a stretch, but it's a, it's a nice clean one. Very, very pretty card in my opinion. We have a Vending Cedra, which I think is very cool. Now these aren't in the best shape, but vending cards are, are hard to come by. I wish I had bought in a set a while ago when they were cheaper, but uh, you know, I'll take what I can get for now. Then we have a Red Cheeks Pikachu. Unfortunately, it has a bend in it, like a crease. I don't think it's gonna show well on camera, but I wasn't gonna pass this up. So Shadowless Red Cheeks Pikachu, very cool. Very happy to have one of those. A vending polywhirl. No, polygraph. This one's a polygraph, actually. Um, I should know by that angry face, but the art's so different. It's kind of hard to. Do. Polygraph is the angry one. So, yeah, so we have a vending polygraph. Very unusual art. I'd say this is one of the most unique and unusual arts. We have a vending ponyta. Again, not great shape, but I'm sure you can't tell with the sleeve on it. But, you know, I'm very happy to put it in my collection, put in some binders there. Vending Dugong, another gorgeous card, love that background, unique. And the vending cards actually have a bit of a glossy feel to them too, to the front of them at least. Oh, we got a um, Jungle Island, uh, I forget exactly, Southern Islands I think is what it's called. Well anyways, got two of those cards there, very nice, very nice. A nicer looking Articuno Hollow. I just really like this card, so I grabbed that up. And then we got a Koga's Bee Drill. This one, I believe, had a swirl. Oh, yeah, it's up there, up the top there. So it has a swirl, which is why I wanted to grab this. But yeah, so a lot of people won't pay extra for swirls, but I do. We got a Dark Tyranitar, which was in with the. Um, so I paid $2 each for non hollow rares, but I think this is probably one of the best cards out of that lot. I was looking to buy this card, actually. I think it's like a. 
like a $15 card, I think. And then we have a Vending Mewtwo, which is, again, probably around a $15 card, but it is not in the best shape. So I'm not quite sure what I'd value that at. I'm not looking to sell any of this, but um, one of the cooler vending cards for sure. So that's gonna be, you know, the better higher end cards. And then, you know, there's over a hundred non hollow rares. And I paid about $2 each for these. That's kind of how we figured out what I would pay for it for all this stuff. But again, you know, 400 all together, I'm kind of looking at the final value. So we got Fraligator, E-Reader, very cool, Beedrill. These are very common. If you're looking to get just some base rares, you know, Beedrill, Pidgeotto, super, super common, Dugtrio, Hypno is a common uh, fossil. Venomoth is a common jungle one, non hollow rare, Dugtrio again. Muck, very common. Hypno, Electro, but it's still so nice to see these cards. I mean, they're just, it's not every day you get to see them. It's something, something about this one stands out to me. Hold on a second. Where's that, where's that hollow one? That hollow Electro, because I know there's one in, Huh, maybe I'm thinking of something else. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> I was just thinking out loud there. So Electabuzz, Ditto. Love me a good Ditto, Snorlax. Snorlax is my first hollow Pokemon card out of a booster pack that I opened. Dragonair, base set two. Dragonite. We got Erica's uh, Victory Bell. Ooh, Giovanni's Nidoqueen. We got two of those. Not in the best shape, but it's still great to have it. Sabrina's um, Gold Duck, Misty, Needle Queen again. Oh, Rocket Snorlax. That's a fun card. I have I have this one a couple times, but I'm always happy to have it. I think this one's Dawn Fan. We got a Lieutenant Surge, Holly Wrath by the Angry Eyes, Erica's Victory Bell, the Dark Alakazam. I do love this card. I'm very fond of it. I think I have it in a Hollow too. Misty's Polyrath again, again. Brock's Onyx. Tent Surge's Jolting. Unfortunately, this one's pretty, pretty beat, but it's still very happy to have it. Misty's Cloister, Dark Dragon Knight, Espeon, Wobbuffet, Magnemite, Light Dragonair, Wobbuffet again. See, this card's really cool. I actually don't don't think I have this one, so I might have it in Japanese, but I don't think I have it in English. Wobbuffet, Houndoom, Electrode, Hitmonlee, Kabutops, one of my favorites. Wigglytuff, so the background on non hollow Wigglytuff is kind of interesting because you can kind of just see where they like pasted on the Wigglytuff. And you can see with like a transitional square there. It's just kind of interesting to look at these when they're they're not. Uh, this one's a little odd. Oh, it's a shadow. So I was like, this one's a little weird. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> I was like, is this one fake? Nope, just shadowless. Well, that's cool though. Shadowless Dragonair, Mole Trace, non hollow, Vile Plume, Dark Dark Trio. This is a very common one to get to. Venomoth. Yeah, some of these rares were just very, very abundant in a lot of packs. So oh, this one's all beat, but uh, Koga's Pidgeotto, very cool card. Brock's Golem, a rare as well. Dark Gold Man, I think, yeah. So Latias. This is a promo card. E-Reader promo. Team Magma's Mightyana. That's a nice one. Beedrill, base set two. Ride on. It's a 2005 rare, another 2005 whiz cash, very cool. Here comes Team Rocket, Kingdra Neo, love that card. Victory Bell, Magneton, Victory Bell again, this has got a decent little bend in it, but that's okay. Clefable, I kind of knew these were all played condition, none of them are minty, so. Uh, Jolteon. Looks lighter than I would imagine without the hollow pattern. Like, I kind of feel like that was darker. Oh. <laughs> Victory Bell again. Jolteon. Yeah, it's just lighter. 
So this is the Kangas kind of talking about. So notice how it's just pixelated. Like it looks like if you didn't know Pokemon cards, you'd say, wow, that looks fake. But I have probably 15 of these and I know it's not fake. But when I first saw it, I was like, ugh, that's a little weird. Giovanni's Last Resort. Very nice. Electabuzz. Base set two. So we got a Metal Energy that's a rare. Pidgeot. Dark Volbat. Again, that was a very common one. Chilteon. Rocket Sneak Attack. Victory Bill. Muck. Last, I have, oh, I don't know. Probably a hundred of these. <laughs> Pokemon Trader as well. That's another one I have a lot of. Super energy removal, item finder, but they are rares, you know? They are good to hold on to. Clefairy doll, that's another rare. Clefable, cute as can be. Mr. Mime, non hollow rare. Light Machamp, Light Machamp's really cool looking. We got a dark Macargo. Brox Onyx, this is like weird art they used for that. Like it's like Kind of like 32-bit onyx. I feel like it looks a little funny. We got Broken Ground Gym. Mary. Sneasel. I got a nice first edition one of these, I think. Rain Cast Form. Blossom. Another Beedrill. Pidgeotto. Doug Trio. Pinsir. Electrode. Pinsir again. Cow Chaos Gym. Duh. <laughs> what am I reading? <laughs> and then Scoop Up. Another very common one. But yeah, I'd have to say my favorite out of all of these, you know, besides the Mewtwo and stuff. Hmm. You know, definitely let me know your favorite cards in the comments. And again, if you think it was worth the $400 I paid. I mean, my favorite's obviously going to be the Sabrina's Gengar. That's the one I shelled out the most for, but the Squirrel I think is really cool. Just because it's such a clean one. The Reverse Hollows, I have a lot of them, but they're they're not minty minty like this. Celebi is one of my faves for sure, but Seacoon, oh, and Lugia. Lugia is another one. I'd love to get a Neo Lugia, but I don't have one. But this one I like a lot just for the Swirl. Yeah, I got some, I think I got some really good stuff. I'm going to say bye for now and take care. But yeah, definitely leave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys very soon.